So today I want to talk to you about discipline and motivation and the difference between the two. You will have definitely heard of both of these terms, discipline, I did a video on this last week, and also motivation. And really these are two really important parts of self-improvement in general. And I think a lot of people don't really know the difference between the two, discipline and motivation. But in this video, I just wanted to talk to you about the importance of understanding the difference between these two kind of ideas and what I've done to kind of balance the two and how you can, if you can understand these two better, it could maybe improve um, your day-to-day -day activities and, you know, help you achieve your goals and things like that. The difference between discipline and motivation is actually quite simple. So to start off with discipline, discipline is when you know that you need to do a task. Um, I'll use recording videos as an example. So me recording this video now, that is a task that I sort of need to do. I need to be consistent on YouTube. I need to keep putting content out and I need to keep providing you with lessons. So um, that sometimes requires discipline to do that. If I'm not really in the mood to do it or you really don't feel like doing any work today, um, maybe you a bit under the weather like I was last week and have a bit of a cold and you just don't really want to record videos. It can sometimes just take a bit of discipline to kind of force yourself to do it. Um, we talked about, you know, you make a promise to yourself. Um, I'm going to do this task. I'm going to go to the gym today. I'm going to not cheat on my diet. I, I'm going to record this video. They are promises that you set for yourself. And in order to be disciplined, all it requires is that we keep our promises that we set for ourselves. So that is what discipline is. It's really about doing something when you really don't want to do it, but doing it anyway. That is being disciplined. And the opposite of that really is motivation. And motivation is where you do a task, but you actually wanted to do it. And uh, motivation can be a good and a bad thing. So discipline, there's not really many downsides to being a disciplined person. Um, we spoke about in last week's video that being too disciplined could be a problem, but most people are probably undisciplined and it's probably better to be a bit more disciplined in, in most of the case, most cases. But with motivation, it can be a bad thing because you could be motivated to eat junk food. You could be motivated to sit down and watch films all day. You could be motivated to um, take a sick day at work and not go in or something like that. Um, but you could also be motivated to go to the gym. You could be motivated to make videos. You could be motivated to work on your business. So there's a, a good and a bad kind of um, balance here with motivation because motivation is something that you want to do. And as we know, a lot of people, including myself and you probably, want to do things that you know is a bad habit and you also want to do things that you know is a good habit. So that is the main difference between discipline and motivation. Motivation is, is just the same as discipline except you want to do it. So it's not really a challenge to do it. So then that leads us to the question of which is better. So if you're in self-improvement, you might be thinking, well, what is better? Should I be more motivated and should I do the things that I'm motivated towards doing? Or should I just be disciplined and always be doing the things that I really don't want to do, but doing them anyway? Because we know, um, and I know that on the other side of discomfort and um, doing hard things is something valuable, something important. And it, usually anything that you want to get in life, any kind of achievement you want to make, any goal that you want to accomplish is on the other side of discomfort. So that requires discipline to get through. So then how could motivation possibly help? And the main benefit of motivation is it allows you to be consistent because if you want to do something, then you're not going to have a trouble, any trouble doing it. And the main kind of point I want to get across to you in this video is how do we take tasks that we usually have to be disciplined for and um, that are hard to do and that we don't want to do and transfer them over to being motivated towards doing that task. I Let's take the gym, for example. So with the gym, you might have to be very disciplined to go when you first start out at the gym. And this is what happened to me. When I first started out weightlifting, I was just weightlifting in, at home on a little bench with some old dumbbells that my dad used back in the day. And I had to be quite disciplined to do it because I wasn't used to lifting weights. So the first time I did a session, it was uncomfortable. I was super, super sore the next day. I'd never trained weights. So I was really sore, it was uncomfortable. I didn't really know what I was doing. I was having to like have my phone there all the time to like YouTube all the different exercises as I was going along. So it was quite time consuming. And it just overall, 
I found it fun, but also uncomfortable. So that required a bit of discipline. You know, it, I wasn't in the routine of just regularly going to the gym. That was a new thing for me. I wasn't used to that. So I had to be disciplined and say, no, I'm going to go train today. You know, I want to get better physique. At, at, the, at that time, I was very skinny. I wasn't in shape at all. I wasn't happy with the way I looked. So I really wanted to improve that. And that was my goal. So in order to do that, I knew that I had to be consistent with the gym and I had to go and train. And that was something I had to be disciplined for three years down the line now it it's weird if i don't go to the gym like pretty much every day i mean i have rest days but it's 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 weird for me not to be at the gym uh, at least once a day and that's just because now i'm motivated to go to the gym so what once was a task that required discipline has now transferred into something that i'm passionate about and i'm actually motivated to go and i actually kind of um feel a bit annoyed when i don't go to the gym because i just actually love going and it's you know makes me feel good when i'm there and uh, I feel good. It ma makes me feel like I've had a better day um, knowing that I've been to the gym and I've trained. And that is something that is it's great because it means that now I'm, I'm more consistent with the gym. And that is just purely down to the fact that I'm motivated to go. When I had to be disciplined to go, I wasn't very consistent, very on and off. You know, a couple of days a week, maybe I'd have a week off because I was too sore. And then like a week on as well. And, you know, because it was the discipline, you can kind of be inconsistent with discipline, right? Because you're not really used to it yet and you're, you're having to force yourself. And, you know, no one's perfect. I'm not perfect. And there'll be some days where you cave in and you won't be disciplined enough to do the thing that you want to do. So it's great if we can transfer the task over to a motivational state where you just want to do it and I think that is um, the benefit of understanding the difference between discipline and motivation is trying to take tasks that require discipline now and making sure that you can be motivated to do them later but on the flip side of this talking about which one's better motivation or discipline I would say that we don't just want to be motivated to do everything in life because then we'll just stay in the same place if you understand motivation is something we want to do and it's very unlikely that if we want to go to the gym we're going to be motivated to go and do you know the best workout we've ever done once you get motivated to go to the gym and you might understand this if you've been lifting for a year or two or going to the gym you kind of fall into a rhythm and you start just lifting the same weight every week right you've probably seen this you kind of stall a bit and you you kind of plateau and then discipline is then required again to then take you to that next level, right? Where you have to lift more heavy weights and it becomes uncomfortable again. And maybe you're not quite motivated to do the extra reps and the extra sets and the extra weight. And that's how you can sort of add discipline on top of motivation. So you're still going to the gym uh, consistently, you're motivated to go, but you still add in the discipline to um, increase the quality of your workouts, to do more weight to actually progressively overload yourself you'll understand this that it actually requires discipline again like now not just to go to the gym but to increase the volume increase the weight so now that we know the difference between discipline and motivation and you know which one's better in which context i just want to talk to you about what i have done on my self-improvement journey over the last three years to kind of come to the the best use of discipline and motivation. And for me, um, I'll use my YouTube channel as an example. So this is the business that I'm currently trying to grow. And I've worked on other businesses before. I've done drop shipping, I've done print on demand. Um, all of them didn't really work, but I think it was because of me. I, I wasn't really on self-improvement at the time and I was a big procrastinator and wasn't very disciplined or motivated to <laughs> Kind of pursue any of those businesses properly this is the first thing i've worked on this youtube channel where i am fully on self-improvement and i'm actually motivated towards working on it and that's something that's never happened to me before i've always had to be disciplined to work on a business always i've never been motivated to do it and this is the first time where i have been motivated now i want to talk to you about how i had to initially use discipline so at the start of this YouTube channel, I was obviously very nervous, wasn't used to being on YouTube. I'm still really like not, I'm not very big on YouTube yet. So I'm still very new to it. And video editing was something that was new. Thumbnail creation was something that was new. Titles, and descriptions and tags and 
everything in the YouTube game was completely new to me and was completely novel. So I had to be very disciplined to initially start off the process, to initially make those first couple videos. And after my first 10, 20 videos, I started to notice that I was getting into a bit of a rhythm and I started enjoying it. And I was very inconsistent in the beginning. It's like what we talked about at the start of the video where I said, when you're disciplined, you're actually, um, you know, you can get stuff done, but it's kind of inconsistent because you'll have days where you um, are disciplined and strong and can do it and you feel good and feel, you know, you can, you want to go out there and have a productive day. And then you'll have other days where you're not as disciplined. So it's, it's kind of like, you'll have some days where you just don't upload a video. And that's what I was doing. I was having days where I just really wasn't feeling up to doing it. And that's just because I wasn't very disciplined on those days. But now it's kind of started. I'm in the transitional period of it, transitioning over to a motivational thing where I just want to make videos rather than just being disciplined because I'm having to hit a schedule and be consistent. I've just started to pivot towards more. I will make videos when I want to make videos, when I'm motivated to do it. And I feel like I can make better videos when I'm motivated to do it. And that is kind of, I had to have that discipline phase in the beginning. So what I'd say to you is you, if you've got any project that you're working on, any business, whether it's just something personal like the gym or whether you're trying to grow a YouTube channel or trying to grow a business, whatever it is, you need to start off just being disciplined. At first, you are not want to, you're not going to want to do it. You might be motivated at the start to do it. You know, it's a great idea. Yeah, let's do it. And then you'll get on, you know, to actually do the work and start putting in the reps and you'll realize quickly that this is going to require some discipline at the beginning. And what I've done is, you know, you go through that discipline phase and you transition over to a motivational phase, kind of like the gym. But then it's like, well, how do you then incorporate discipline back into it? So for something like YouTube, for me, I have to then be disciplined. If I'm motivated to do a video, I have to then be disciplined to think, how do I make this video better than the last video? How do I edit it in a way that I think is interesting? Uh, how do I try something new um, in Premiere Pro, the editing software to, to try and make it better? And that requires discipline because then I have to go out and research it. I have to go out and learn the thing. And if you can constantly just add a little bit of discipline on top of whatever it is that you're motivated for, if you are motivated to do it, you just end up taking that thing to the next level. And it's really all about just being one step in front of your comfort zone. So you're constantly, that that's growth. That's how you build up growth. That's how you build up yourself. You, you just constantly step outside of your comfort zone with each iteration of the task that you do. So yeah, that was just a quick video from me. I just wanted to sort of explain that concept here, this kind of yin yang between discipline and motivation. And I think the answer to kind of balance these two things is to just incorporate them both together. Start off with discipline, start off grinding through things, make mistakes, learn from them, get better at it. And then once you start to get into a rhythm of things like the gym or YouTube or whatever it is, you start to get motivated to do that thing. You start to want to do the thing. But then when you get motivated, you become a bit com like comfortable doing it. You know, you, you retreat back into the comfort zone. It just becomes the new norm, like the gym. And then you have to incorporate discipline back into it to kind of build it up again and to challenge yourself. It's all about just challenging yourself, making it uncomfortable, making the process a little bit harder every time adding in friction and then when you do that that is how you grow and then obviously if you add in too much friction i.e you put um you know if i recorded an hour long video that had to all be edited that might be too much friction too much discipline it might make for a great video but it might seriously um impact the motivation to do it and that could mean that i don't do it and that could you know that then takes you back into that discipline phase of the inconsistency so it's really about striking that balance and just keeping yourself one step in front of your comfort zone remember guys just improve yourself by one percent every day and you'll get there see ya